Right, well the van has mysteriously made it out of the workshop, so the question is, did you have to push it out? No, drove it out. Did you actually? Yeah, I'd explain to you what was up with it, but I don't think you'd listen. I'll listen. Really? You're going to do that thing, aren't you, where it all goes dark and sort of fuzzy sound and so. No, no. No, I don't do that anymore. That's old now. Yeah. So, that plug there had come off. See that little grey tab? Basically, it must have been out at some point before. That was up, that locks, that locks it in, so it must have been put back in and then when it's vibrating, it's worked its way loose. So we don't so need a new van? You Yay! don't need a new van. That's a good start to the day. To be honest, it's still but a bit of a slow start. Is it? But that might just because we're not driven it much. Dave has been on it recently because in a matter of days we now have a cubby hole above the cab area The custom frames are in either side of the bed The bed skeleton was in place which I believe Liana will be painting later today Here's our water tank which will eventually be fixed somewhere in the garage area The inverter was on the wall Look at the size of it And we've got this thing which basically links the van's battery to our other battery so that it can be charged whilst we drive Kind of cool. So before we get to the interesting stuff, which is me painting, we've got to do some prep. No one likes prep, but you can't have the perfect van unless you prep. Just There's ask a... Dave. I'm not sure if I remember how to... You just press it down. This? Yeah. Tickles. Is that what you were laughing at? Yeah. Why have you stopped and why are you not just going all the way to the end? I'm not doing a very good job. How hard am I supposed to do? Are you seeing what's going on over here, Dave? He's starting it's and about medium. He's, he's all quite rough still, so I'm not he's pressing starting hard and stopping, starting and stopping. Do you need me to get involved? Just sand it. I think you should have a go. I'm not confident with the sand, I think that's yeah. what it is. Press on a bit hard. It, no, it, it needs goes a, wrong. It, it needs a it woman's away. caress. I don't want it to go wrong. <laughs> how we said that we know an old guy well someone said you know a fit looking old guy oh <laughs> really it's gutting i'm married and i make a cracking brew too oh wow. helen's got some comp but she also hasn't, she hasn't got comp because she's married although she makes a cracking brew so but, but helen makes a cracking right brew now but and she doesn't you know but she is married and back. helen has other other qualities as well i will add yeah. yeah. Well, she can do butterfly legs. I bet that woman can't. Basically, a married woman is is attracted to Dave and has said yeah. it's a shame that she's married well, yeah. because she makes a good tea. Good because otherwise, I'd be all over. Is that what she's assuming? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. I feel as though you made me sign that piece, so I'm now responsible for helping tie you. Not responsible, friend. Sit down, I'll make me a drink if you want. Now that the sanding was out of the way, it was time to coat them with primer. But Dave and I decided to spice things up a little bit and have a race to the last piece. Although, I never expected him to have a Get sneaky there. trick up his sleeve Go. like this. I feel like I might be getting cheated out of the victory here. <laughs> if you're competing, should I have let you set up this this challenge? Well, because I think I might have got the the bad end. I'm a man of honour. We Thank could you. swap. No, tell you what, you can have two brushes, that one and that one. Dual action. Yeah. You've done well, one. Right. Swap side. You've had that one. One's done for you. I get a head start. You've got a head start. And a dual wheeled brush. Yeah. Given me a brush that molts. Oh, Mine does as well. They're the same. Just take the bits out. You told me these were premium grain. No, I didn't say they're premium. I said regulation in He's... terms of the width of them. Your first one. You ain't been getting them off. There was none on when I was over there. This competition is as good as chalked, I'd say. Ten, Why is there a time? This must be discussed in the official rules. Why are we putting? Put Why is it? Why, why is there a time limit? Oh, you're in all of them. We yeah. were. Oh, right. listen here. Don't you start getting involved. Get off the pitch. Way. Yeah, get off the pitch, will you? Right, time for the exciting stuff. <laughs> Truly thrilling. Five very lovely, perfectly painted bed frames, bed supports, bed skeletons. 
Bed. Let's, let's call them bed skeletons. Bed skeletons. Yeah. Bed bones. Bed oh, Together they make the skeleton. Bed they? bones. You're in burgundy today. I am, yeah. I'm liking so, it. It felt like a burgundy kind of day. It, it is. I'm yeah. liking it. I was at the workshop without Cozy and Liana today because we had some deliveries arriving for Cozy's birthday party in two days' time. Dave introduced me to all kinds of new gadgets I'd never heard of before, like the consumer unit. This is apparently what houses the fuses for anyone interested. And this little white box is the breaker for the solar panel, which will sit on the wall alongside the inverter. You can see why there is so much weight to these conversions can't you and you've got it all in here and there's still more it's just crazy at some point we'll be wiring a plug into this cupboard so we can keep the starlink router inside nice and hidden away dave's already ran the wires through and out here in the kitchen area where we'll have plugs for our kitchen appliances anyway first job of the day put part of the bed frame in place With that done, we did the same on the other side. Then we put the rest of the skeleton in place to make sure everything was aligned. I don't know why we're calling it a skeleton, but I guess it does kind of make sense. Oh, this is trickier than it looks. There we go, look. Oh, there's something so satisfying about satisfying the enough. slot. Oh yeah. That's wonderful. Right, we're gonna paint some uh, of whatever we primed yesterday. And it almost feels wrong, because Liana isn't here, but it's got to be done. So am I right in thinking we have to paint the table in the as well? It's essential. Go on, that way, go. No, go on. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's just mocking you really, isn't he? I personally I wouldn't take that. Oh, he's gone. It's when he's the screwdriver gets. He's, on the he's back. You doing? He's doing that thing where you know what they're clean. Up. They're cleaning themselves or whatever they do. Is that what they're doing? Well, I doubt it. Flies don't clean themselves, do they? He's just looking at you, thinking, I don't care that I'm here. He's, I don't think he can see me. I think everything's so massive compared to him. That do you think that's how flies work? Because he couldn't just go to Spain because he's tiny. Imagine how long it'd take him to go across the ocean. He wouldn't make it. He'd have to. Yeah, he'd have to. Well. Like us, he'd probably have to get a plane. Look how confident. I'm so close to him, he just doesn't care. I think he might be stuck. You think he's actually stuck? He's off. Oh. Well, that's all right over there. dabs of paint all around the workshop now. <laughs> <laughs> right, next job we took on was cutting the floor for the cab. Basically, this area here, which will be our walkthrough, is currently sloped upwards into the cab. So we decided to make it slightly step up instead. So we just need to make sure it will fit under the handbrake. How confident. We're going out. Out of 10, I'm saying six. Bloody hell, that's not very confident. No. Well, it's more than half. I've got more faith in you. I reckon that's all right. Square-wise it fits, but whether I can get it under the thing is the... <sighs> well, it's a very clunky handbrake. Rubbish. Should we turn the seat round? It looks like it's but... sticking out a fair bit. Ah, there we go. Oh, look at that. Whoa! You've smashed it, right? That's all right, just a little chunk off the back. And that is it for today. Will the van start? Still not ace. Off into the rain we go. Jeez. Just in time to leave, eh? Typical. This time last year when Cozy was about to be born, it was so hot and on his birthday it was 40 degrees and it's his party, it's his first birthday party on Saturday in two days. It's not looking like it's gonna be uh, too dry. Cozy is at his grandparents' house. We look, well, <laughs> let's not mention that I don't think. We've got five hours for birthday preparation. That's not a lot. It's not until Cozy comes back. Currently, our marquee is being put up. I mean, I was expecting 40 degree heat like last year. Yeah, we weren't even supposed to have a marquee, but we had to because the weather's so bad. We had, we had to email around like, please, have you got a marquee? Because it's promising rain now. So we need to sort the house, make sure there's no unpacked boxes. I need to wrap his presents. We need to go and collect his cake. Ah, uh, there's other stuff. We need to go to the shop and make sure we've got food and yeah, lots to do. So little time. As we had such little time, we decided to put the camera down and just get stuff done. We also didn't manage to film much of his birthday because of course we just wanted to be as present as possible and enjoy time with our little man and family. Well, Cozy had a lay-in and so did we because we were just woken up 
by the lady that's setting up his birthday. <laughs> that, that that normally doesn't happen. That's that's funny. He's had a birthday laying, and now he's telling us that he wants to get out of bed. So randomly, at like two a.m., Cozy just decided to go round and round. <laughs> And then went straight back to sleep. So he, he loves round and round that much. Yeah, that... well, I'm starting to question my, my theme of birthday. We should have done a car slash wheel slash round and round but theme. The, at the time I was planning the birthday, round and round wasn't really a thing. No, Duck was his favourite. I think we should go and get him out of bed. Now, I'm going to be a nice daddy and let you have the first birthday cuddle. <gasps> Yay! But only if I get the second one. Try not to cry because I haven't washed my tongue. Oh, Podgy's actually coming to join the show. Hey, I'm saying happy birthday first. Happy birthday! <gasps> oh, it smells like poo in here. <laughs> Who's birthday doing poo. the birthday nappy? Oh. Okay, daddy's turn, daddy's turn. Oh, okay. Yay! Ha, ha, ha. Round round. Happy birthday to you. You Happy live it to, to you. Happy birthday, dear Cozy. Happy birthday to you. Yay! I love you, Mr. Birthday Boy. Right, gotta change that nappy. Happy birthday. Yeah, round and round. And then look, look at this one. It's a big round and round. What is it? Whoa. Woo! Go press it down. Oh press my gosh, down. I want to see Phil chase it with me. Are we all going? Family chase, go! How are we gonna get him first? How are we gonna get him first? I feel like he's got a disadvantage with the cup, but I'll allow it. That's my knees! That wasn't as successful as it normally is, but we still had sort of a race. Round and round. Clever boy. Wow, we. That's cool. What is it? <gasps> yeah! Oh my goodness! That's so cute. The fact that you just said duck has given me a bit more life today. Thinking <laughs> he actually does still like ducks, yeah. kind of. And then, well, depending on the weather, we've got some pair of jeans or we've got some shorts. I think it's a jeans kind of weather. That's so cool. You're gonna look like an. It actually is. It's kind of like what was it like mechanic grease. Vibes. This is off your mummy and daddy. No Yay! money in it though. No money this year, Cozy. <laughs> your cost is enough, mate. Happy first birthday to my sweet boy, Cozy. Ah. I'm so unbelievably blessed to have you in my life, and I hope that you find the happiness one day like the one you bring to me. I know you're going to grow up to be one loving, curious, and strong-willed young man. Words can't describe how much I love you. Love you always, mummy. Ah. And then. Daddy wrote a lot smaller than me. Sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> when you're old enough to read this first birthday card, I want you to know that you have changed my life in the best way possible. You've been in our lives for 365 days and I couldn't picture a life without you, little man. You're surrounded by so much love and I can't wait to, He's loving it that much, he <laughs> to wants see it. you grow and form into your own personality and opinions. This past year has been the toughest challenge I've ever had to face and you've made me a better man. Whatever life has in store for you, there's only one thing that's certain. Mummy and Daddy will always be right by your side. <coughs> Daddy! Da -da -da. <laughs> we love you, little man. Did you like that one? That made Mummy cry a little bit. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> right! Yay! So basically yesterday the marquee got delivered, that's the last clip that you saw. The red carpet that they laid, did I even show you that? I don't know. They laid a hideous red carpet, which isn't their fault. I asked for a carpet and they don't know that the theme is is yellow and blue, so it's not their fault. But I had to basically rip it up and now we've just got grass, so it's really heavy and we're going to have to put that into storage. So 
We should probably do that. Emotional. Like, we know I'm not the most, you know, emotionally stable person. I cry over pretty much everything. But, um, I'm feeling a little, little emotional this morning. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely not because, well, it is because he's turning one, but it's not because he's turning one. It's not kind of like a sad, hello. <laughs> it's not kind of a, a sad, oh my God, he's turning one. It's more of a kind of like, to think that a year ago today, I was in the hospital, not knowing if I was gonna be able to witness his first birthday. I think that's why I'm so emotional, it's such a blessing. And I have a completely different out outlook on life now, so it actually forecasted thunderstorms today and the sun's come out, so. I just hope it stays, I hope it stays like that and it's, it's a sign. They know the theme of the birthday, don't they? Listen, I'm not in my outfit because that's a surprise for later. Oh wait, you've got yours on. <laughs> yeah, but this is my outfit that I'm wearing today. So oh, but I thought... I've got to go out into public, so I better wait. <laughs> so I thought, well, I'll wear this for a bit before I actually... You'll spill something down and ruin it. I've got a yellow dress. Well, I'm just Daddy. wearing this, but it says Dada. We've got a special message from Nana and Granddad. Are you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you! <laughs> Love you! Love you! Love Nana and Grandad! See you later! Bye! Bye! He did a little cute oh, little... Oh, little shy boy. Yeah, that's so adorable. <laughs> yeah, the sun didn't last long. And now Liana's got to go outside, bless her, to close the, the thing. Because she's not ready yet, and she's got a bag over her head. So she should be uh, slightly protected, I hope, at least. Oh, here she goes. Got the umbrella out as well. Now, she doesn't actually know how to do this. I wonder if she'll actually work out how to do it. It's not looking particularly good. Oh, oh, she's done something. Cozy, that, that's the shopping. You I know it's your first birthday, but you can't just be open yourself. <coughs> Mummy's got ready, which is really nice. The sun is actually <laughs> currently out. Are you okay, baby boy? We don't want you to be sad. Should we have a cuddle? Okay, so the marquee's done. We haven't seen it yet. Let's go in. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. I think Harry's here. Oh. I think it's, I think, hey, Bailey, how you doing? Oh. Oh, he just shows up, doesn't he? He doesn't mess about. He said he's coming as a duck and he's come as a duck. I, I think I'm that's probably the worst duck costume I've ever seen as well, which makes it so much better. Yeah, no, love it. But it is the worst. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cozy boy. Hey, well. Who got him this? Nana and Granddad. Nana and Granddad. This is the cutest gift ever. You see him go? Yeah. Ooh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cozy. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Are you ready? Right. Blow. Blow. Don't touch. Blow. blow. Oh, what's mama got? Ready. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow, is that nice? Surely that's the time of his life. Oh, wow. I think he approves. <laughs> I think he approves. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Sad 
have a sight of his Wow, gun. look at that. Oh, the oh, good times good. just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for. Here is Rosie. Brenda and I cannot begin to tell you how much joy, happiness, and laughter you bring into our lives. You make us more happy than ever we ever thought was possible. We love you with all our heart, Nana and Granddad. Aww, that's so sweet. Finally right With you and I the few 